one of the options was this meter right here. And this is called a kilowatt. So this kilowatt meter, kind of an interesting name, goes into an outlet just like this. And it's gonna do similar readings that the multimeter did, but it's gonna do them in line because it has a plug as well. Pretty thick, heavy body here too. You can go through the Hertz. You were asking about that earlier, John. So it's got Hertz, you can go to voltage, but where it starts to shine is when you put a draw on it. So this is a light that I'm gonna use during my testing here today. And I'm gonna put that into this plug. And then I'm gonna turn the light on. <laughs> okay, so we have this light on and you can see it over here shining. It is a LED light. And so here it's got the same voltage, but if I go to watts, you can see I'm burning six watts. And if you plug this in, it'll work all the way up to a space heater or some things like that. It'll give you a real time view of how many watts the item is drawing in power. Now, if you're into tech stuff and you want to do volt amps, VA, uh, that's another factor multiplier. If you want to see the power factor, that was actually one interesting thing this has. If you're using computer systems, they're not 100% efficient and their power factor doesn't use the actual phase. So um, this works out really well for doing a single item power monitoring. But you gotta go out and read it every time. So if you've got this out in your shed, <laughs> you know, you're gonna have to go out to your shed and look at the meter and you can't see exactly what it is. So I'm gonna show you a better tool in the future here. This is the old way to do it. It's available right now on Amazon for $32.49. I'm gonna bring that up here on the side screen. So there it is in my idea list. If you go here, great reviews on this product, by the way. Yeah, it's 4.6 rated out of five. And it's because this has been the mainstay of all energy monitoring previous to this. The kilowatt was where it's at. I use this as a computer tech to see how much draw at the peak load something is using. So I can tell either if there's a problem or if I need to have a bigger power supply, I can see that. Other cool things I'm gonna show you here. So that was an LED light. <laughs> I've actually got another bulb here. So we were pulling six watts, right? This is a 25 watt incandescent. I'm gonna put it in here. And then I'm gonna go back over here. I'm gonna plug this in. Bring myself back. There we go. Now this is actually gonna use more power and it's not gonna use it as efficiently, hopefully. <laughs> let's go back over here. Some of that power is being turned into heat. So it's, it's pulling 21 watts, even though it's a 25 watt rated uh, bulb. What's funny is it's not putting out nearly as much power. Notice how you can actually see the bulb because a lot of that energy is turned into heat. So you can see how much power this thing's drawing, what the power factor is, what the watts are there, and what the volt amps are. So you can see 21, and this is dropped down to 20 occasionally. So, you know, pretty useful. You can also see amp draw, so that's current draw. So this is the number of amps. You'd have to do the math there to do, you know, amps, volts to equal the wattage, but it, it does check out. And then you can come back here. Other cool things about this one, as long as it's plugged in and you go to this button over here, you can actually have it meter over time. So it's been running for three minutes and it's used a total of 0 0.00. Now, if I let this run for an hour, it's going to use 0 0.021, you know, uh, kilowatt hours because it's using 21 watts for an hour. So that's how all these meters work.